Hey everyone. Well, I'm back and another day into reworking the final draft of this story. It's becoming more apparent to me that this story is definitely going to be one that is solely for me. It's just the more I look at the story, the more I see things that are wrong with it that are just people I don't think are necessarily going to connect with. At least I don't think literary magazines will want to pay money for it. Uh, it's doing a lot. It juggles a whole lot of, you know, proverbial bowling pins. It's got a, a bit of a twist on an old kind of cliche and Man, I don't know. I do not know. I just feel like this story is going to be purely for me. This is a story where I'm writing it for myself, and I'm the only one that's going to be end up enjoying it. Um, that's not to say that it will not be published. This is going to be part of the collection. Whether it gets picked up by an individual lit mag or not, I will at one point when I decide to, to get this collection um, probably self-published most likely. Uh, it's going to be part of it. It's going to be part of it, and it's awesome, but I see tons and tons, tons wrong with it. Um, the problem is that I like all of it. That's that's the issue. I can see where other people are not going to like it, and I can see where I love it. I, I There's something about the story that I've really connected with, and I think it's because it does so much that you see so much of a character. Um and so I've kind of made a decision, at least on my end, that I'm going to keep a lot of the stuff as it is, that I'm going to keep the story kind of the way I envisioned it. I'm going to go through, obviously, make the, I'm still doing the line ads, which is what I'm doing now. I'm still going to make the sentences sound good. It's still going to be entertaining. But, man, I, I, I don't see this being everyone's favorite. I don't. And ultimately, that's okay. That's the thing to realize. It, it's okay to kind of have that. Um, it's rare that if you pick up an album that you like every song on the album, even the greatest albums of all time, the most celebrated ones, there are tracks that people simply don't connect with. Um, there's very few that are, that kind of sort of go against that trend. I think off the top of my head, I think dark side of the moon might be the only album I've ever heard where I like every single song on there. Like if it, if every single, if, you picked any song from from that album and put it on the radio i would listen to it other albums a lot of the classic ones too no oh, there are there are plenty I'd, I'd throw away um or i wouldn't say plenty but there are there are at least some on that on that album that i would throw away that i would change the station if i heard it it just it's not as good uh, not to say that they're bad but they're just not masterful um that's kind of how i feel about this one right here this is going to be i think the track on the album that people maybe skip over the one that people may read over and maybe they, they jump or whatever and that's perfectly fine i am perfectly happy with that fact oftentimes you do want to try and and write to get your work out there and you do want to write at least with some sort of some sort of reader in mind some someone else to read it otherwise there's no point ever in ever publishing it right like if you're writing for yourself why would you even publish right why, why would you not just do what jd salander does or did and just write a bunch of books and keep them in like a safety deposit box at a bank and have no one ever find out about them until like you die and then maybe your widow self-publishes them or something for you uh if you're trying to get something published, you have to write at least somewhat for a wider audience. You have to keep them in mind. I'm not saying you need to write to an audience. I'm not saying you even have to put um, a ton of consideration into the audience in terms of, of what you write or the content of it. But there are certain things that, that you should foresee with your work that will become a problem kind of what i just listed out here a minute ago with the story i foresee these being a problem and if you're looking to get it published you need to address that um, because each problem you don't address is just simply an objection that someone else can overcome 
So unless you plan to just self-publish it, um, you know, every single work, and even then, you're still hoping someone picks it up. So you do want to write at least in some sense that someone else picks it up. Um, but that shouldn't be your main mandate. That should never be your, your main thing. Uh, it, it's lovely to think that we all write for ourselves first, and if other people like it, that's that's amazing. But even those that claim that, I think they write just a little bit for the audience. They, they keep audience consideration in mind. And if for no other reason than simply taste, they, they, they seem to just recognize what's a good story and what's a bad story. They seem to recognize the elements of telling a tale and the elements of editing and what makes things coherent and what makes things readable and how to get what they're trying to say across on the page. Uh, those things are still done, even when people talk about writing only for themselves and they say they don't care about the audience, which I've said on here before, it tends to be my, my general thing. But there needs to be a little bit of consideration, a little bit. Um, this story may not. This story might not be that way. This might be just for myself. And it's fun. It's fun to keep it in its... There's a little bit of magic to it. It's a little bit of magic. I, I, if for no other reason, the fact that I can always say, hey, I kept one story for myself. If I look at back at everything, I say, yeah, I made a change here. I didn't agree with this story here. I made an adjustment here that I think people might have enjoyed better, what have you. Even if that's true, even if all that is true, I can at least go, you know what? This story I didn't alter. I didn't alter the story. Yeah, it's not the best in this collection. It's not my. It's not the best written. I can look at it and just say, no. It's not going to be the one that I think people are going to call a standout. But I did it for myself. I wrote it and I kept it true to who I am completely with no other consideration. Um, it's very self-aggrandizing in some ways to look at that. But at this point, it's like, what's what's the alternative, right? Um, if I was to edit this story or make any kind of change to the story, it would not feel like the thing that I set out to write. And in truth, the th not every story you set out to write can be a masterpiece even if you're a great writer there are some stories where just the premise in the way you've decided to tell the tale um, it doesn't matter how good a writer are you can only get it to a certain point and this story has a very difficult subject matter it's got a very complicated matter it's got a very um, interesting character uh, who is not perhaps the one that has the most room um, to play with. It's not like it's not like a typical character that people might might find fascinating. There's a lot of things with this story that if you want to keep it the way, you, uh, at least I want to, the nature of it, you can only get to a certain point. I think any a general idea can become a masterpiece. I think any general concept or idea can certainly become well celebrated. I don't think telling a tale in a certain way in not budging from that can always produce the best work the manner in which you tell it will dictate the quality and sometimes if there's something very specific you want to tell something very specific that you want to get to because it just somehow feels right to you to do it this way it may not be the masterpiece it may not but it'll be the story you want to tell and that's the big thing this is the story that i wanted to tell it may not be the best way to tell this sort of story Certainly not. Um, Maybe the best way to deal even with this subject. But I told it the way I wanted it to be told. And it's got uh, the elements that I wanted to be in the story. And all you can do is get that to the best that you can get to it at your current level. And this is mine. This is mine. Nine years into the process. This is my current skill level right here with this particular story. Maybe if I was like 40 and I put another eight years into this, whatever, um, maybe I could have gotten a little better. Maybe it could have been a little bit more skilled. Maybe. Maybe if I approached a little bit later. Um, there are some stories that you're just not mature enough to handle. Um, as a writer, you're not mature enough. You don't have the skill to be more specific. But this is the level I'm at right now, and this is the story I want to tell.